Hi fellow YouTubers. Um, I wanted to share this with you. I'm new to this so you'll have to excuse me the shaking and you know all that jazz. Um, but I wanted to share this with you. Um, I was looking for some kind of solution to storing my um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink Pads and you know everything that I kind of found was too expensive and really you know not funky enough for me so I was watching YouTube and came a, came across a wonderful lady um, she's amazing and um, she was making one with cardboard and I thought well you know maybe I can give that a go so um, I did kind of do my own thing at the top and I did add a draw um, for like sponges and the pads for the uh, ink tools so I'll just give you a little look at it it's not going to be a long video um, and while I'm on here I just wanted to mention another lady that's been absolutely amazing and finally got me to actually do a video her name is Jane and uh, her channel is Velocity Vet 08 um, take a look at her channel she's amazing too there's actually a lot of amazing amazing people on here uh, I thought YouTube was just funny videos, animals and stuff like that. Um, so three months ago my eyes were opened so wide, it was it was unbelievable. So I'll show you a little bit of this. It's um, I have some kind of inking pads on the bottom and then as you can see each shelf holds um, three pads and then I have a drawer that um, I've got like the sponges and the um, uh, foam and the um, felt um, applicators for the uh, for the tools. So um, we, I'm sorry about the shaking. Um, I'm using my uh, iPhone, so I don't know how this is going to go. Um, but yeah, let me just have you have a little look here. Okay, so I did a shelf at the top and kind of enclosed it, and it's all cardboard. And then what I did to make it a lot, you know, to um, make it sturdy was, um, it's like a brown paper that when you order things, um, if I order but if I order from scrapbook.com, it usually comes with this uh, brown paper, um, and I just mod podged and crinkled it and then laid it over. So that's kind of what I did. But here the drawer actually, I can show you that that comes out. So there you go. I crackled the back and couldn't find anything decent to do crackling with. So I tried the white glue, worked perfectly. So that's there. Sorry about the movement. So as you can see, I have some uh, Tim Holtz dies, um, a La La Land Craft die, um, some flowers, a couple of those Prima flowers that I painted. A zip from a jacket that I loved, um, some upholstery <laughs> studs, and if I turn it around, I'm sorry about this, I actually stamped the sides, um, and then what I did was I wanted to do some kind of um, texture, so I didn't want white, so I actually found this, um, Texture Magic. Dimensional Pain by Delta. Uh, somebody had actually given me it, so I thought, oh, I'll try that, and it worked really, really well. So, and then the back is a little different. I, uh, I actually went over it in black paint, and then I did a bronze, or is it a copper? And then I did the uh, texturing again, and then some cogs and Tim Holtz things again, and a spanner. And the other side, I'm sorry about the video guys, I'm going to have to get something about that. More stamps. More texturing. And I just totally fell in love with it. So um, basically that's it. If you have any questions, because um, I've probably not gone into detail, because I, like I say, this is my first video. Um, don't want to make it really long and boring but if you have any questions about this um, on the process or anything please um, leave a comment and I will definitely get back to you so thank you again and 
I will be back with something. Um, working on a few things now, so uh, keep crafting and thank you for looking.